Hey guys, how's it going? Silpho Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. Over the last week, I've been spending some time with some family over in France. I'm visiting my wife's family, and it's going to be a really great experience for me. This is a pre-recorded episode since I'm going to be over in France for a little while, and I just wanted to make sure that there would be no interruptions in content. I just want to say that it is really fun trying to keep my channel going, and I really hope you enjoy the content while I am gone. So what I'm going to do is get started with this week's Locksport update right now. Thank you so much for checking out this week's Locksport update. This is a really great video series to allow everyone in the community to share any of their updates and be a great place for me to share any of my updates. What I'd like to do this week is start off by sharing some channels that were sent over to me by Lockmania. I just want to say thank you to Lockmania. That is really nice of you. So the first channel I'm going to mention this week is going to be Lefty Pick. They have about 10 subs. And let's check out a quick clip of them picking in SNG Environmental Disc Detainer Lock with some ordinary tools. All right, I have a six disc SNG Environmental. Start by bringing all the discs to the full clockwise position. So when tension's off the second disc, And then one. I think it's just six. Hold me up here. First disc and spacer. Second disc, spacer. Three and so on. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking out Lefty Pick. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more videos by them, what I'm going to do is I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check out their channel and consider subscribing. The next channel that I'd like to mention this week is going to be called Culper Woodhall. Culper Woodhall is another smaller channel that has about 10 subscribers. What I'm going to do is show you him picking a high security Illinois Chicago duo padlock, which is such a cool, fun lock to pick. So what I'm going to do is roll a quick clip of that for you right now. He's got the duo. Right. Thank you so much for checking out Culper Woodhall. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check out his channel and consider subscribing. Another channel that I'm going to mention this week is going to be Apache Locksport 1. I am not 100% sure of the difference between Apache Locksport and an Apache Locksport 1, but what I'm going to do is just roll a quick clip of his first video on his channel. Hello, this is Apache Locksport 1. Because I missed, I missed the lads, and I've missed, I've missed my hobby, my favourite hobby. And basically, that's it. So, and thanks for the support I've just been getting. I've, like I say, I've just signed this channel up the last few days, you know what I mean? And I'm looking forward to getting back into the seat again. So, over and out, Apache Lock support, and like and subscribe. Thanks, thank you very much. Bye. 
Thank you so much for checking out Apache Lock Sport 1. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to consider checking out more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. Now what I'm going to do is focus on a few channels that are older and are now inactive. What I'm going to do is ask if anyone can remember any of the older channels. They had a list somewhere and I have lost it. I cannot find it, but I'd love to get a list going of all of the older channels that were very active maybe 10 years ago. So the first channel I'm going to feature this week is going to be Wizwazzle. What I'm going to do is show you a very quick clip of him picking open a lock right now. Hey guys, Wiz from Sparrows. Sorry I've been away so long, but I've been uh, moving and all kinds of personal issues. Um, anyways, I'm here today to pick open a uh, Harley Davidson lock. Um, it's just a simple master lock internals. It's just a, a regular 220 master that uh, has been uh, labeled with the HD bar and shield. <coughs> So I'm really out of practice, so. and I like to do easier locks too because uh, not everybody can just pick up a lock, and a high security lock, and uh, do it. So the beginners got to start somewhere and I figure it's nice to touch base on some simpler locks every once in a while. So standard four pin configuration, no security pins. Uh, so we're just going to go in with very light tension, the weight of a penny, and uh, just going to go in and locate the four pins, hear them click down. And we're going to go in and find the binding pin. And we're going to slowly lift it up until it clicks. Find the next binding pin. Up till it clicks. And there we go. Open. So, I'm not going to break this lock down fully, um, but I will show you what's inside. Thank you so much for checking out Wizwazzle. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. He's not currently making any new content, but subscribing is always a really nice gesture. He was one of the very important influencers in Locksport back years ago, and I just want to say it is really cool to check him out. He hasn't made a video in about six years. Another channel that hasn't made a video in about six years is Kokomo Lock. Kokomo Lock is another really cool channel. And what I'm going to do is show a quick clip of Kokomo Lock picking open a Berg Watcher Gamma 700 in just a few minutes. So let's roll that clip for you right now. Here I have a six pin Berg Gamma 7000 German Fad Lock. It's a QA on it. And not an easy bidding at all either. So let's see if we can get her picked here. So it's got all kinds of spools in it. I've picked it once. Um, I'm going to attempt it on camera now. Lots of false sets. and Let's see what I want to do here. Let's go here. There it is. Picked open. Thank you so much for checking out Kokomo Lock. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by them, I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check them out and consider subscribing. Just like Wizwazzle, Kokomo Lock's not currently making any new content, but subscribing makes a really great gesture and it is really cool to see these channels, older videos, and compare them to how videos are presented today. These were two really important channels years ago, and I just want to say thank you for everything that you have done in the past. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. If you have any content that you would like to share next week that you'd like to see in the Locksport update, as always, please drop it in the video description, in the video comment section below, and I'll try to share it next week. I just want to say that I am going to be pre-uploading up until the first week of September, so I'll probably share your content after September has happened. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below as well. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and thank you so much for checking this out.